back to my channel. So today V Show is sponsoring this video. They did provide me this wig. This is a 250 density Mongolian hair long fronto. Okay. Now this is what the box looked like and everything that came in it. I received some eyelashes, a pamphlet, um, a edge, a edge, uh, elastic band. I'm sorry. And it's 30 inches and it's true to length. I'm so surprised because when I pulled it out, it, it didn't seem like it, but when I put it on, it did. So this is what the wig looks like straight out the pack and it is packaged really well. So you have four combs, adjustable straps, the lace is soft and in the hairline is pre-plucked. So all I had to do was go in and bleach the knots. So let's go ahead and do that. As you can see, I'm using Quick Blue and 30 Volume Developer. I'm doing one part bleach, one part developer, mixing it together to get the consistency that I need. Once the bleach is ready, I'm going to get the wig and I'm going to apply the bleach on the lace, okay? Now, I'm a bit heavy-handed when it comes to doing this because I want to make sure all the knots are covered, all right? So I can have a great bleach job. Um, if it does seep through, you can always go in with hair color and fix it, but you could just be a little bit careful. Don't be too heavy-handed when you're doing this, okay? So I'm applying the bleach. I do let this bleach sit on this wig for about 25 minutes so it could process. And once it's processed, I do go in and wash the wig. So you want to make sure you're thoroughly rinsing off all the bleach off this wig so it can stop processing. And then I do go in with purple shampoo. My favorite shampoo is to use is Vanilla No Yellow Purple Shampoo. It is a very strong violet purple shampoo so it's going to turn your knots super quick. So you definitely don't want to keep this particular product on your hair for long. Look how dark it is. So I'm using Ajax as a clarifying shampoo. You want to make sure you are washing all your wigs because they are dirty, okay? You don't want to just install some hair or bundles in your head without washing them first because you never know what's on these wigs. After using Ajax, I'm going to go in with silicone mix to condition the wig. I did leave this on for about 30 minutes. I applied it with um, damp hair and then I combed it through and let it sit. And after that, it was just ready for me to go in and do the baby hairs.
So you guys know Cantu is one of my favorite products to use when it comes to wigs, especially this mousse. So I'm using the mousse um, to lay down the hairline and to pull down the baby hair so I can mold the baby hairs to the wig. Once the baby hairs are molded, I'm gonna take my got to be free sprays and rapid strips and I'm gonna spray the hairline so it can stay put because I'm going to put my wig underneath the dryer because I wanna hurry up and get it done because I was going somewhere um, in a in maybe in an hour and a half from me filming this video. So I needed to make sure that my wig was already dry so it could be, so I could put it on real quick, okay? So I, this is what the wig looked like after I let her dry under the, <clears throat> under the dryer. And so here me here I'm going putting the wig on. So I'm just making sure that it fits. I'm sizing it. This is a very snug wig, okay? So if you are bigger than a 22.5, then I would suggest you getting a larger unit because this is a standard medium. So I am using um, new products. This is from Even, and I'm just, I bought all of their new products that they released. So we're, I'm just going through using them to see how I liked and if I feel that there is any difference in the sprays. But all I'm gonna do is you spray my hairline, lay the lace down, blow dry it down, make sure it's not moving, and I do that for the entire hairline. So while using the even sprays, this is my second time using one of the new newer products. Um, I did buy all of them because I did want to see how they perform. But I did notice that the fragrance is, depending on which one you're using, is stronger than the other. And I'm guessing, um, and you can literally smell the alcohol in it. So I don't know. I wasn't. I haven't gotten irritated as of yet with this, but I am very careful when using the even spray because, um, like I said, I've used it before and it has broken my edges off before. So I'm definitely careful if I do use this product and I take my wig off. I make sure I wash my hairline and my skin, and then I also make sure that I use um, Jamaican black castor oil to glaze my forehead and my hairline like a donut. So. Um, I could get all of the hydration back into my hair. So to mold my baby hairs, I like to use spritz. And um, this little uh, curler or flat iron is from Amazon. I'll have that link down below in the description box for you guys. To tint my lace, I'm using my um, Ruby Kisses in a shade 16. This is the cream and concealer duo foundation or a little compact. Yeah, I love using that. And I will always use it because this is the closest thing to my natural skin tone I can get when it comes to makeup. And I'm just going to curl my little baby hairs and lay them all the way down. After my hairline is pressed out and sleek, I'm gonna go in with the same spray and I'm gonna spray my hairline. And then I'm gonna just lay my elastic band down just to help melt it all the way through. 
and after about 15 minutes this is what my hairline looks like i usually go in and uh, fluff out my baby hairs but this is basically it she looks she's looking really good very good um if you guys are interested in the, this wig i will have a link down below in the description box for you guys and yeah i didn't have time to put on makeup so <laughs> but yeah she was very full very full and beautiful <laughs> by you guys